Today we're talking about our S800 high performance drill stand, and this is the largest stand in our line. You can see that it's uh, built for extreme high performance drilling with very up to uh, 800 millimeter diameter drills. So it has the ultimate stability. It has this enormous thick column, and it has this heavy, heavy, heavy steel welded uh, base, which is, includes wheels for easy transport because it is a very large drill stand. And you know, it has this, uh, this four leveling screws, which you, you can use for adjustment. That's uh, standard. And although the, uh, the column itself is aluminum, it has these uh, hardened steel inserts, which the guidance rollers uh, act on. So you'll have a, the most rigid possible setup. And the carriage is, is a roller type carriage. The, car the rollers give you excellent anti-friction movement, but at the same time, no play whatsoever. To adjust your guidance rollers for the carriage, uh, the two on the left side are on eccentric shafts, which makes them adjustable. The two on the right are not. So to adjust your rollers, all you, all you need to do is uh, make sure your carriage is locked, and if you can turn the roller by hand, it's too loose. And all you need to do is you take a 24 millimeter wrench, and then you turn until it stops, and then you turn a further 1 8 of a turn. And you do the same for the lower one. And then you uh, run your carriage. Make sure it's not over tightened or too, still too loose. To unlock the carriage, you just slide the slider over. Sometimes you need to wiggle the handle a little bit to help you. And to lock, you just slide over. Sometimes you may need to move the lever handle a little bit to get it to go in. And this is a very special uh, carriage because it has two different uh, gear ratios for its guidance on the other side. We just turn it around so you can see it. To give you a straight one-to-one -one ratio for your, for your drive, and then the second spindle will give you a four-to-one reduction ratio. Let me just show you how to, let's just do it for comparison. We'll do one rotation in the standard gear ratio, and you can see it's going all the way from here to here. And when we use the other spindle, In one rotation, you see it's only going that far. So what that does is it gives you an incredible amount of added leverage, when, especially when you're operating with a very large corbett, it's very tiring. And so this makes it a lot easier on the operator. Also, to about that this is a, the angle can be adjusted. You see we have the angle scale here. And uh, all you do is you use the multiple example to loosen it. And you can change to any angle, drilling angle you want, up to 45 degrees. You can actually go beyond that if you really want to. You'll put it at 15 degree angles, for example. And that's securely in place. And now I'm talking about mounting your, your drill motor onto the stand. Now it comes with a standard dovetail mounting spacer, which you know has the standard bolt pattern mount any any uh, drill motor out there. And so you just bolt your drill motor to the, the spacer and then it goes right in. I've got my motor already mounted here to show you. This is our DM10 drill motor. And I've already mount, put the mounting spacer on there. So all I have to do is just put the dovetail in. And you're ready to go on it. You'll need to use your 19 millimeter wrench to tighten it down. Accessories. Uh, here we have this. This is the standard spacer block, and we bolted on a clamp clamp bracket. This can be used for our handheld drills. It just uh, bolts on there, and then it mounts in the usual way because it's a 60 millimeter net, which is more or less standard in the industry. And we also have extension spacers. With this one is 45 millimeter. This one's uh, 100, 150, 200, and 
these can also be stacked together to get the added distance you want. Because as the stand is now, the maximum uh, drill that you can fit is a 350. Anything larger than that, you're going to need these extension spacers to give you the distance you need so it's not interfering with the stand. And you can stack these together with each other as well. Say, for example, you need a one, here's a 115, here's a 100. You can actually mount them together, stack them together as needed to get the distance you need. And they just, they mount together just like you're mounting the drill motor into the stand. size drill bit for your drop-in anchor and and you should drill to the correct depth and then you drive in your anchor with your with a driving tool for the anchor and a, a sledgehammer and then for mounting the, the, the drill to the drill stand you'll need a length of thread rod and a nut and also uh, a mounting plate this is our optional mounting plate and you can see it's it's, a, it's as strong as possible for giving a really secure mounting to the workpiece and also in your setup you'll probably, you'll need a tape measure to measure where to put your hole and you'll if if it's crucial the alignment of your hole you'll need to have some kind of a spirit level for aligning your stand before you finally tighten it down onto the workpiece. And so first we'll do we'll we'll begin by drilling our, our hole for our drop-in anchor. the hole is completely clean, free of any dust, to make sure it has a good hole. Otherwise it may come loose when it's operating, and that would not be good. Now to set your anchor, you use this special setting tool, so you can drive it into the hole without damaging the threads. And you just take your sledgehammer, and drive it into the hole. Now you position your stand over the anchor, any position you want, and first you, use, you put on your mounting plate, you insert your threaded rod, and then before you fully tighten in your nut, you can, if you need, if it's really crucial, you can use your level to make to check the level, make sure the stand is level. And just 
as you need to. And then once you have it level, you can final tighten it. So make sure it's tight. Okay, that's tight. And now you're ready to drill.